Hello, hello, everybody. I'm back again, yes. With some spicy, spicy content. Well, it's not that spicy. But we do have some events coming uh, for this week. This week, uh, we are doing a d and here at the shop every Thursday. Starts at 6 o'clock. Hope to see you here. We also uh, have Friday night, we do a magic draft. You get 15% off on your first three packs for that draft if you bring in six people to play that draft. It's a self-draft, so it should be a lot of fun with your friends. Also, 15% off your packs. Pretty amazing. Uh, then uh, on uh, a Saturday, we're doing a jumpstart event, uh, which is just a nice uh, way to introduce someone that doesn't really know how to play magic in a very friendly way of playing magic, so it's not super competitive at all. Uh, then we are going to be bringing in the New Year's, guys. That's right. We are going to be stay, staying open extra late on that day. We'll be open till 1230. That's right. You heard that right. 1230 we're going to be open till. So uh, help bring the New Year with us. Uh, at 8 o'clock, we'll have uh, chips and ice cream for anyone that's going to be celebrating that New Year with us. So pretty amazing. Uh, then we are going to be having... On January 1st, it's right around the corner, guys. It's really amazing. That's what happens after the new year. We will be doing the uh, family game night. Uh, and that starts at 2 o'clock and it goes till 6. So that should be very, very amazing. Super great. Now my little black book of death is done. Walk into the now it's time to get on to the uh, products. Yes, we brought in more products. Oh my God, I'm super excited because I like buying stuff. I like buying stuff way too much. I have a problem. It can only be solved by buying more stuff. So let's get on to what we picked up. So we had someone come into the store and they said, hey, do you have this item? And I'm like, I don't even know what this item is. So uh, we picked it up for them. We were lucky enough that our vendor actually had it. So we decided to carry it in the store for anybody else that would be interested in this product. Uh, this product is called Star Realms. Um, and I'm gonna let my camera guy kind of zoom in a little bit on this. Uh, I should have probably set this up a little bit. Woo, there we go. Now we got her. Yeah, so it's like this uh, little card playing game that you put together. This one right here lets you uh, do some scenarios. Uh, but you kind of need, uh, do, I think maybe you play this? Yeah, this contains uh, 80 cards, uh, oversized cards for a solo or co-op challenges to expand and more players. Simply add additional core sets. So we got some core sets here. We got this one and then we also have the Colony Wars. So pretty sweet right here. Uh, they love this. They want to give it a try and then we'll probably zoom out a little bit. Hey, I'm back guys. It's amazing. I know you like seeing this. It's amazing. You know, the sad thing is, is this has got to go away, though, because I have a job, and they say, one inch of beard is all you're allowed. And I'm all like, I do love money, so I guess I'm going to have to shave. I know, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for us all. Beard people, yes. We are people, too. It's a very true thing. Also, talking about things. I know, it's a good segue, isn't it? We have the thing! Oh my gosh! John Carpenter's the thing! The board game. So, uh, this is, uh, I don't know how it plays. And we did not get one for the board game library, which makes me very sad. Because, uh, in it, when you play, I think it's, uh, three to, no, one to eight players. How do you play with one player? That's odd. You just go, I wonder who the thing is. Don't tell myself. Or is there like a whole bunch of cards that kind of do it? I don't know, it seems really odd. <laughs> so, one of your people in the one to eight, or maybe even two, I don't know what that is because I haven't read the rules, but they are the alien creature, the thing, mimicking people. So maybe nobody knows who the thing is in the beginning and it just kind of randomly chooses somebody throughout the story uh, of playing. And that would be super cool. <laughs> like you tried to help everybody, they're like, oh wait, I was supposed to try to kill him. Whoops, I guess I helped him too much. <laughs> so that's that's a, a very, very neat thing. And if you don't have enough of the thing, we have an expansion for the thing. So this adds the, uh, the uh, prequel movie to the events there. So you can kind of play through all that and have a good time. So, oh my gosh, look at that box art. Isn't that sexy? Yeah, right here. Zoom in. Heck yeah. 
Look at that sexy beast! Look at that sexy beast! He's so sexy! Alright, we're gonna be moving on. <laughs> As you can see, I, I just love stuff way too much. It's it's true. <laughs> like, I'm like a hype guy. <laughs> but really bad at hyping things. But, uh, you know what I'm a really big fan of, though? B-movies! That's right! I love B-movies! Some of my favorite movies are B-movies. I love the idea of having absolutely no budget and then being able to, you know, do whatever you want. It's so great. So in this, uh, this is a, a social party game where you uh, get to celebrate uh, classic fil uh, films. Players takes on the role of a screenwriter. The most powerful person in all the world. That doesn't say that, but it should. Uh, and then uh, you get to try to say what your B-movie is about. So you're doing like a pitch. <laughs> Uh, this also includes the uh, two Kickstarter spooky expansions. So you have like 18 uh, vote cards, uh, 12 studio cards, and a clapperboard token, uh, five rule insert, and then uh, 96 popcorn ticket uh, tokens. Maybe that's how you pay off your reviewers. <laughs> our, our movie's really good. <laughs> Here, take some popcorn tokens. And then some title cards. That probably gives you an idea of what the uh, movie's all about. The Lost World, or uh, Death Robots, amazing. <laughs> All right, uh, we are pretty much uh, moving on a little bit here. We are gonna be going to Escape the Dock. Yes, uh, I don't know much about this game at all, but the good news is we have this in the board game library and we are gonna be doing a box opening of that and that should be super exciting because then I'll know a little bit more about it. But it's uh, one to four players and it's up to 14. And I was recommended this uh, from a guy that absolutely loves this series. So we have Escape the Dark Castle. Seems pretty cool. Uh, it's all black and white though too. And that's what I kind of like about it. Like all the cards are just black and white. And oh, I just, I don't know. I don't know, I just love it. Like I like the contrast of it all right. And then uh, over here we have Escape the Dark Sector. So it's uh, put in like a fantasy sci-fi theme instead of like the uh, knights and the uh, and, and that for this and the jesters and whatever they got going on. Uh, this one's all about uh, in space they can't hear you scream. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> that's what they always say though. But there's a hum in space. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So if anybody knows where Udu is, uh, go down in the comments and just be like, I am a super geek. Uh, I know exactly where Udu comes from. And this is the game. <laughs> okay, then we got Exceed. Uh, I picked this up because I'm a big, big fan of uh, Blaze Blue. And they've done Exceed in this Blaze Blue. And then uh, you have Noel. You have another guy. I don't even know. But you have uh, V13. Uh, and then, I don't even know her name, I don't even know her friend about, so I don't care. <laughs> I only bought him because of Noel. <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> and then of course, uh, there's another part of the Blaze Blue. So what this is, does is it gives you the, uh, four decks to have the four fighters, and then you're supposed to actually play a game with that. And we actually have the Noel box. It's gonna be a box opening that we have coming also. So we're pretty excited to do that also, because I, I think that's gonna be a great amount of fun. Uh, we uh, get this one, we get Hazama, Nine of the Phantom, and uh, Platinum Trinity, and Kodano. I, I murdered everybody's names. You're very welcome. I tried. Uh, over here we have Exceed again, and Exceed comes with uh, Rachel. That's right, the uh, vampire girl. Uh, the cat lady, Tom... Oh shoot, I should know her name. They say it like a thousand times in the, in the stupid story. And then we got... Uh, Rygar the Blood Edge and Iron Tiger. He looks like an orc, <laughs> but very cool. Uh, then we have the other Exceed, and this one comes with Jin, uh, Hakame, Carl, and Clover. Bang Shimigami! And uh, he's amazing. He has his own theme song when you're really kicking butt, and uh, I, 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 I love that he brings his own theme song with him. Like, if I was a good fighter, I would bring my own theme song, too. Just to prove to everybody that I'm a really good fighter. Like, who else has their own theme song? Nobody. I brought my own. I'm amazing. 
And we also can't forget about, uh... Ah! Ah! Zombies! I was in a magic place off, hey camera. Uh, it was pretty scary, but I came back. But, yes, that is right. We have, ah, uh, zombies again. Yes, so this is, uh, Zombicide, the Black Plague. And this one is medieval in, like, theme. Uh, it works with the, uh, expansions that we just brought in on the Thundercats. That's why I got this in. Uh, also we have the Green Horde. Oh, that's, that's so good, too. So again, this is a full game. These are full games, by the way. They don't, uh, they, they are both full games that work with themselves and can work together. So they're very neat that way. So that is what we picked up for the game store. What? Oh, and we have uh, paints. Uh, and if my, my guy would uh, zoom out so I can put the paint rack right here. Yeah! Okay. That should be enough of those paints. They're the, the Vallejo paints, they're very nice. <laughs> so so that's uh, that's pretty much what we have. Uh, if you uh, like what we're doing, we have a uh, Patreon. Uh, we also have uh, a Discord now, so that's really great. Uh, I will actually start putting that Discord link in the description. We've tried putting it in the comments. I don't know what happened to it, but it got deleted somehow. I don't know if it was one of us that did it, or if uh, YouTube just randomly deletes comments. <laughs> I, I, yeah, um, it was a link. So maybe they just randomly go, we gotta protect the peoples, and then deleted our Discord channel. <laughs> and I was like, oh well, thanks for your help, I guess. We meant to have that there. <laughs> So that was, that was pretty odd. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you know, come on down, have a good time, uh, enjoy the channel, share it with your people. Your people are better than my people. Uh, at least there's more of them. Uh, so, so definitely start sharing, okay? And uh, with that, have a good day and oh, a happy new year! Woohoo! Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's so